Hello everybody and welcome to the Hunter Gatherer channel. It is December 31st. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today and I've finally got time to get to the woods again. It's been a pretty slow year but today's going to be a beautiful day. It's supposed to get some maybe 40% chance of rain starting around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I brought Landon up and he's got I think two doe tags and I can shoot one, two, three. I can shoot two bucks or four doe. Two bucks and two doe or four doe. Anyway, I'm just sitting in a, a little natural blind. I got the CVA Wolf 50 caliber. And hopefully we'll have some action. I didn't film anything coming up through. I came up in the dark. And I've been sitting here since about seven. I haven't seen anything yet, but I'm hoping that something will come through. Uh, when there was snow on uh, about a month ago, there was a pretty nice uh, trail coming right above me. There's a little draw back here, a little like gully. Comes off the top of the hill and uh, works its way down and it gets a little deep down there. So a lot of times they like to cross above that. And that's why those deer were coming just above. There's some fields above here, uh, 200, 300, 400 yards, I don't know. It's a little closer that way than this way. Anyway, but they like to cross across here and bed on this bank. So that's what I'm hoping for. But while I'm sitting here looking and watching, I just wanted to show you something that I usually do. It's supposed to rain today, but even with a little bit of moisture or dampness, um, I like to put electrical tape on the end of my muzzle loader, and uh, it seals it up nice, keeps it from getting any rain in your barrel. Um, but you can shoot right through that, and uh, it works pretty well. So it's a pro tip number 24 for you. Anyway, I'm just hoping something's going to sneak through here and get an opportunity. Most shots are pretty close. It's kind of higher stem count here and makes them feel comfortable. So we'll see what happens. I don't know if you notice <laughs> the difference in that barrel, but that's what it looks like when you shoot through your electrical tape. I was looking up here and I saw some movement. And a doe and a fawn slowly worked their way to right about that pine tree right there. And then that opening right there, I took a shot. The doe took off real hard and the fawn just kind of stayed there. And then she took off too. And then I heard some crashing over in this area. So I'm going to clean my muzzle loader real quick. I like to do that when I'm not taking a quick um, second shot. And uh, I'm going to clean the muzzle loader and reload. And I'm going to take a walk up this way and see what we can see. I'm pretty sure I got her. All right, I got the muzzle loader all clean and back together. Loaded, new piece of tape. Hopefully, I get to punch through that one too. I'm going to start working my way up there just to see what kind of sign we have. And I'm pretty sure we got some fresh venison for the freezer. I'm just going to work our way up and check it out. So that's where I was sitting. And we'll get up to where we were, uh, where the doe were standing. So she was right in this vicinity. And I can see where she crashed up through. Like I can see some uh, really kicked up leaves right about there. So I'm going to work up through here. Just looking for a sign. Alright, that's, uh, that's a pretty good spot right there. Looks like a chunk of lung and some bubbles. And it's just kind of... I feel like it's a pretty solid hit. Oh yeah, we got really good sign. Just 
We're still working along the trail. Which is leaving a pretty good, pretty good sign to follow here. I can't believe she's too much farther. She is. There she is, everybody. Just a beautiful big doe. What a blessing. Wasn't sure if I was gonna get one today. Uh, this is the late muzzleloader season uh, in New York, the day after Christmas to New Year's Day. And I just haven't really been able to get out since bow season much been pretty busy but I'm definitely thankful for this deer I don't know about the rest of you but when I get a deer I'm just really really thankful for um, the provision uh, what the meat means to the family and uh, it's kind of bittersweet because you are taking a life um, but if you're eating beef or ham or chicken, you know, everything that you eat, uh, something lost its life. This, uh, this animal is wild, is, you know, wasn't inside a, a, a fence or anything else and it lived a really good life. Um, it's as organic as you can get and it's, uh, you know, it wasn't pumped full of a bunch of uh, um, hormones or whatever else to, to produce large muscles. So this is super, super healthy. But um, I'm always thankful to, to God for, for his provision and for the opportunity and just for the beautiful uh, scenery and the beautiful creature that he made. So I always say a prayer just in thanks so Heavenly Father I just thank you so much for this opportunity for this day I thank you for a nice clean ethical kill uh, that the deer didn't suffer long uh, and I just thank you for providing and for um, all the sustenance and energy and strength we're going to get from this this animal in Jesus name Amen alright everybody well I thank you for coming along. We'll see what else uh, happens the rest of the day. I think it's a little, maybe a little after nine. Uh, I plan on putting the whole day in, but for now, I'm going to just, uh, I think, put a little video up of the doe, and uh, if there's something else I get today, I'll just put a separate video up. I just want to thank you guys for swinging by and for taking the time to, to watch the video. I do appreciate it. We enjoy um, just getting out in the woods. Uh, it's not always about the kill, but just being out and relaxing and taking it all in. But I do uh, want to thank you for, for watching this particular video, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I just want to let you know that we love you, God loves you, and we'll see you on the next one. And hopefully you guys had a safe and productive season. See you later.